Welcome back to the channel YouTube. Winks here. Uh, today, I know it's been a while since I dropped a video, uh, but today I'm going to drop another one for you. Um, I'm getting pretty close to wrapping up the end of the this Gia series here, but before I hop off of this and move on to the next game, I wanted to leave a few more videos to explain how to max your stats. Um, that is very important for the end of game after you beat the main story, you move on to uh, the Land of Carnage and maxing your stats. Um, so, and if you look at one, this character that I have here, I'm pretty close with her, uh, but I've spent probably about 300 hours trying to get her stats maxed. Um, and for those of you out there that want to know how to get to that point, there's a series of things that you have to do before you can max your character's stats. Um, there's a lot, basically what you've got to do is get four different things done to reach 40 million stats. One of those things that you have to do, which I'm going to talk about in today's video, is you have to master all the subclasses for a character. And what I mean by that is if you go to one of these characters and you, you go to their status and you go to class, you'll see with this character I have mastered all of her, her subclasses. And I've done that for a few. If I, you know, if I was to scroll through, you'd see that I've done that for a lot of them, because that's what you have to do to get your stats maxed for this game. So, in order to do that, that's step one. There's a few things you have to set up to do this step. Of there's a few steps you have to take in order to complete this step in maxing your stats. So, what you're going to want to do first to get to that point after you've beaten the, the game and everything and you've unlocked the land of carnage and it's time to start really grinding and getting your character stats up the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and create four characters uh, four monsters particularly and it doesn't matter which ones you do just create four monsters uh, for mine I'm just gonna run through this real quick I'm just going to complete good for nothing. I'm not spending any extra points. Um, well, it's wanting me to take him away. Which is fine. I'm just going to make him. Boom. There's a character. I'm going to hire another one. Same thing. Just going to run through it. I'm going to create this one. And I'm essentially going to do this four times. And I'll explain why here in a moment as to why I'm doing this. Because this is the best way to get the characters you want maxed quickly. Now, it's not a quick process by any means. So don't confuse what I'm saying when I say this is the quickest way. It's still a slow grind. But this is, I guess, the way to say it in this case would be this is the most efficient way to do it. Um, because it is still a painstakingly process. Um, and you'll see what I mean once you start doing this if you're still you know if you take this route you know some people just beat the game and then they're done with it but that's really not where the beauty of this game comes in if you if you know anybody that plays this Gia they will all tell you that the the real story begins after you beat the main story because there's really two stories to this game so, let me just double check, make sure I got my characters. All right, I got four of them, good to go. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna, the reason we need those characters is because when you go and max one character's stat, you're gonna change those four creatures that we just made, those four monsters, into a weapon and equip that to your fifth character, your main story character. Doesn't matter who it is. It could be Kilia, it could be Usula, any of the story characters. Uh, because anything that can't be created, basically. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to equip those four characters as a weapon to that one character when you're doing this grinding. So essentially, your characters are all maxing out their subclasses five at a time, right? So, But before you jump into that, after you've created your characters, you want to go to the strategy assembler, the dark assembly, whatever you want to call it, and make sure you've passed a bill called dual magic change. Now, I've I've done it, but this is where it would be. You just pick a, you know, a character who has enough mana to pass it. You'd find it, you'd pass the bill, 
and then now you've got the ability to do what I'd previously described by equipping the monsters as a weapon. The next thing that you want to do after you've passed that bill, you've gotten the land of carnage. Uh, if you watched my previous video where I explained all the um, the innocents and I talked about the statistician, this is where that level 900 statistician is going to come in handy. You're going to want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip it to whatever character I'm maxing out, right? Um, and I have not maxed all of my story characters. So let's just go through real quick and see if there's one that I could do that for. So I'm going to check Val Torres out. What is his stats looking like? His looks like they are maxed. I need some. Okay, so Seraphine is a good choice status so her stats are still pretty low but she's for the most part maxed out right so we're gonna pick her we're gonna give her that statistician that I was talking about now that I've identified who I want to use so I'm gonna go back to that innocent farm and I'm gonna find that level 900 st statistician and I'm gonna move it over to her so first we're gonna find her Oh, there she is. Then we're going to pick her weapon that she's carrying, and we're going to put that statistician on her. Where are you, statistician? There you are. Alright, now that we've got the statistician on this character, this is our main story character. She's also going to level with the, the four monster characters so we're going to place that on her because again that's just a multiplier for experience and you're going to want experience when you're doing this so we've got our statistician now the next thing you're going to want to do is your character has to have an evil evil T called career master and i'll show you what that looks like on one of these other characters so if you go to evil T, which i don't have it equipped to this character But there it is, right there, Career Master, right? So if you first, when you're first starting out doing this, if you don't have Career Master, because you won't, honestly, what you have to do to initially get it, once you get one, spreading it across your other characters is relatively easy. But to get one, you need to run through Char, Kara World, however you pronounce it, and you need to do... You need to train on whatever character you're using, right? And I'll show you what, what I'm talking about. So you're going to pick a character. You know, um, you're going to want to do it on Super Overlord because you cannot do it on one of these below that because um, Career Master is a top tier evil T. And at the end of Shar World, once you've ran through it and you've beaten it, you're going to come into a room where it gives you a multiple... It gives you different multiple selections of how you can upgrade that character that you took through this. One of those that you can do is you can learn a new evil T, right? And it's not, it's random. It's completely random. So you may have to run through this 10, 20 times to find Career Master. Um, but once you get it, you select that and you've learned that evil T, right? Now, that's the hard part. And again, it's random. So once you have it, that's good. You've already gotten over the hill, and now you got what you need to get this process started for a bunch of characters. So I have it. Um, once you get it with one character, you take that same character back through Char World with it. And at the end, where you have all those selections you can do, there's another one where you can create an evil T, one of those scrolls. And you can pass it on to another character and they can learn it without having to go back through and rerun the, the Kara world. You just got to run through it one time each to create a duplicate. Um, and, you're, and they'll look like this. It'll be one of these scrolls. But it'll literally say um, Career Master. And I'm just trying to see if I have one already. If not, I'll show you. I'll run through it and I'll show you how to get one. I'm hoping to skip that part of this process because... That's not what this video is about, but just to, you know, for transparency, I want you to know how to do it. Um, so I don't have one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to go through here, right? I'm, I'm just going to pick whoever that, that I know who has it. And I know Killia has it, so I'm going to run through it with him. 
if I can find him, because I don't know where in the hell I put him. Where are you, Killia? There you are. Look at all the mana that I've got. So you want to put that on Super Overlord. Don't worry, because even if you die, you don't really die. You just start over. And here comes this one. You actually want to kill her later on. You're going to be killing her a lot. You're purposely going to be killing her. You're going to be putting her in every every map you have. So I'm just going to find one of my dice here that can get me through here as fast as possible. It doesn't look like I have a whole lot, so I'm going to have to move. Let's go. And we're just trying to reach the end. I mean, this is a very simple process. You just got to basically just keep mashing your buttons until you get to the end and try and keep your character alive. You know, there's some tr strategy to it. Like right now, I don't care about fighting this because my character is so strong, he just one-shot her. And that's important because you saw what just happened. Later on, there's a bill that can automatically have her pop into your map every time you start it to get that dowson rod that she just gave me. And what that does, if you use that dowson rod, it raises all your stats, or all your um, your aptitudes. And your aptitudes are basically another bonus that you get on your stats. And you're going to have to do, that's another step. We're getting a little ahead of ourselves here, but um, that's another step that you've got to do out of the four steps to get to max stats. So you're going to be hitting this, this char world up a lot. Um, so you're basically getting a two for one out of this video. So we're just going to keep on moving along and trying to get to the end of this. Because I want to show you how to get Career Master. Thank you. And if you look up in the in the top right right there, it, it tells you how many more spaces I have to go and how many moves I have to get there. Word of advice, stay away from the red squares. If you can count before you move and see where you're going to land, try to avoid those. Take alternate paths. Here comes my evil half. Whoop his ass too. Quick. I may have to use an item for him. Let me thank you. Let's go. Or maybe not. Maybe I can just finish him off here. Let's end this quick. Yep, there he goes. And all my stats and aptitudes have raised. Again, I believe the most you can do in one run is eight. Um... I'm not too sure. I've heard, I've seen different things. I've heard people say it's only five, but I've done more than five. Do not ever take a ride with this pirate. Like they say, do not talk to strangers. He will drop you off in some random place and have you start over. So do not ride with him. Say no to strangers. Let me thank you. And we're just trucking right along. I ain't worried about all that damage at this point. My stats are so high with him, it doesn't even matter. God, we have such a long way to go. Oh. Alright. These guys are nothing. Just wipe them out. They're basically useless. Other than improving your stats. Oh, great. Now I'm going to get thrown. Hopefully it's closer to the goal. 24 more spaces. Let's go. Stealing some money. That's all right. All right, I got a forward by lots. Those are always, those, those will always come in handy. So forward by lots, I just picked it up. I get 12 steps now. That'll help me cut the, oh, perfect. Right to the end. Came in just at the right time. All right. So now that we've made it to the goal, this is that room that I was talking about. You're gonna use this room for multiple reasons, but just remember this room. This is where you're trying to get to. So like I said before, this is where 
think Let me so. see. Uh, yep, that's spreading it. That's what we're about to do. But this is when you want. This is if you're looking for career master for the first time. If you're trying to learn one, this is what you're gonna pick. But once you've got it, you're gonna come to him, and he's gonna spread it. Create an evil secret skull scroll. So I'm looking for career master. There it is, right there. So now I have a scroll for that because my other character already had it. Now, if I'd done this on a lower difficulty, that would not even show up as an option because, again, it's a higher tier. But we've got it. And this is what you do with it once you get it. So, Serafina, or whatever her name was, you're going to take that scroll and you're going to use it on her. Boom. So now she has it. So now I got to go to her and make sure she has it equipped because that is very important when we're doing this step. It is essential that you do that. It's not, it's not even negotiable. You have to do that in order for this to work. So we're going to go to her evil tees and we're going to equip that. Now that is, it increases class proficiency earned by 100%. You can see that on the screen. That's why this is so important and makes this the fastest way to do it. Because if you don't have this equipped, you're going, to be, you're going to be spending hours trying to master these subclasses. So we're going to equip that one. And then we're going to go buy the other one, too. Because there's another one that you can buy with the skills shop. Me? Learn Evil T. Hopefully I've got enough mana to do this. Where is she at? No, I don't. Just my luck that I wouldn't have enough. We're going to try it anyway, even without... Even, well, you know what? I can't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn mana all the way up in the cheat shop real quick. And I'm going to show you how to get some quick mana, too. So there's another squad that you can use where you can share mana. So you can use a stronger character to attack strong enemies and get a buttload of mana. And that is the channeling squad. So we're going to put someone like, I don't know, her in there. And then we're going to put Serafina in there. Now she'll get all her mana when she gets mana. We only need to do one little quick run. Choose a destination. And I'm going to go back to that uh, martial training area that I talked about in my last video. Probably the easiest way to get this mana. I shall go. Hopefully this wipes them all out first turn. Look at that. Done. I like to see that. Now Serafina should have enough. Go back to the skill shop. Me? Learn evil to you. All right, there, look at all that. Look at all that she got from one little quick battle. Now she's got enough to get whatever I want. So we're going to get all these. You need all these uh, rate increases because you're going to need that for max stats too. So you might as well, whatever characters you're maxing out, you just need to go ahead and buy all these too. Study lover. Blah, yeah, yeah. All right, now we got everything we need. Go back to her. Where did you go? Evil T, we're going to equip, uh, where is it? HP, SP, attack. Experience earn, that's a good one. Oh, there's another one. Workshop intern adds another 10% to class proficiency. That's what we want. Oh, low battery, huh? I'm going to swap that out here in a minute. It's telling on me. All right, so if you've been following along so far, she's got her evil tees equipped. She's got that statistician right there. That's all we need, really. The last thing you want to do, now that we've discussed that, in order to start this process now, now what I would advise you to do um, is to turn, they tell you online, like there's a bunch of sources that'll tell you to do it at 10 stars, two stars. I, I say forget that. Turn it all the way up. Max it out. And it's not going to matter because you're going after the geo symbols, not the enemies. So if you've got a bunch of those, um, 
uh, emergency out saved up, then you can just hit the geo symbol and then emergency out, and you won't have to worry about fighting the enemies. But I turned mine all the way up, 20 stars, because that when you turn that up, that is also another multiplier because the stronger your enemies, the more experience you get. And at 20, in the land of Carnage, um, they're going to wipe you out. Uh, that's almost impossible to be, even with max stats. Um, but you can do it. Um, it's, it's not impossible. It's just almost impossible. Um, so we've turned up our multiplier for our experience. Um, we've got dual magic change, we've got the level 900 statistician, and we've got the career master evil tea equipped to our character. Those are essential. The last thing you want to do before you do this, and I know I keep saying there's another thing, this is the last thing. You want a land of carnage item. It does not care, it, do, it does not matter how high it is, it could be a level 1 item, doesn't matter. It just needs to be from the land of carnage. And if you don't know what those look like, if you haven't gotten one yet, they're easy to identify. Um, they're red. So like this one's a regular item and this one's got like a red tint to it. That's a, a land of carnage item and any land of carnage item is red basically. That's how you'll notice it when you see it. And the stats will be higher too. So like you look here, it's got an attack of three, right? That's ridiculous because when you go up one, that's 12,000. That's a huge difference between a land of carnage item and a regular item. But you need one because you got to go into that item in order to do this. And that's exactly what we're about to do. We're going to go into the item world. Oh, wait. Before we do that, hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself. Another thing you need to do. Sorry. You might need to write all this down because it's a lot. Um, <clears throat> you need a character that has the, um, the Geo Explode skill. I'm trying to remember which exactly it is let me see where do i find the moves that they actually do here we go geo blast that's what you're looking for you need that geo blast right there and it's okay don't worry if your character doesn't have it which seraphina doesn't have it i guarantee it what you do is there's another squad that you can put them in you take that character let me see which one it is. Skill ability to use the leader's special skills right here. Skill training squad. So I'm going to take my character again, make her the leader, and I'm going to put Seraphina in here with her. Now, when I go into that map, she should have that Geoblast skill. That's, the, that's important because that Geoblast skill, even though we turn the enemy strength up to 20 stars, that geo, that geo, uh, geo block is going to be really hard to kill. But here's the thing. Geo blast automatically one shots that geo block and destroys it no matter what it is. And it also gives you experience, right? So think about that. Your character is going to get the experience from blowing that block up. And it's a maxed out block. It, it's not going to get any more experience than that. Then you've put that statistician on top of that. And you're just multiplying that that experience, right? You've also put that career master on there. You just added 110% to whatever you're going to get. It's all math, right? It's all math, math. Everybody loves math. That's why companies pay big bucks for that. Because nobody wants to do it. But watch. I'm going to show you. Shall we go? We're going we're gonna to show you ex exactly. I know it's a lot to remember, but this is why we do it. So we're going to go into the item world. We're going to pick any... Any, it doesn't matter what, you don't want to go to floor 10. You want to go like floor one, possibly. Um, I'm going to pick an item. We're going to go into it. Hopefully, we get, a we get a level that has a geo block. You'll see exactly what's about to happen. Oh, look at that. There's one right there. That is perfect. Because what I want to do is I want to come into this map, and I only, I only want to hit one block and then automatically get five stars for that class. That's what I want. So I'm going to bring my character out. Seraphina. I'm gonna put her right next to that block and I'm gonna check. Look at that. She's got Geoblast because we put her in that squad. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. Hacking the video game. So, next we're gonna find those four monsters that we created and we're gonna magic change them to Seraphina. Watch, they're gonna turn into a weapon. 
It's like Captain America with your powers combined. There it is. And because we've passed that bill, dual magic change, she can have up to four of them. Watch this. We're just going to keep doing it. We can combine one on top of that one and make that spear even fucking bigger. Look at that. Now she's got a huge spear. There's nothing better than seeing some chick with a huge spear in her hand. I'm just gonna do it all four times. Skip that. You get the idea, right? I don't have to show you the animations. Alright, now she's got all four of those characters on that weapon. Now watch this. We're gonna use that special Geo Blast. Execute. Boom, gone. Just like that. Now, what I don't want like is the fact that I didn't see any of her class proficiency go up. So, that means we did something wrong. Let's go figure out what it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use an item, and I'm going to get out of here. Before my characters get wiped out. I'm almost willing to bet that we didn't assign a class to those characters. That's what that's what I'm guessing. So in order to do that, which is important because this is a good this is a good part that I missed. You're gonna go to the strategy assembly, and I'm sure you've seen this already if you've gotten to this point by now. You're gonna go to that character. I guess I just assumed it would have a class set by default, but apparently not. So I'm gonna make her a warrior, right? I just set it because apparently it doesn't bother to do it for you. Let's check these. They're not set either. I'm gonna make them all warriors. And that should be all of them. Now let's go try this again. The item world's full of I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna go back into that same item. And I'm gonna hope for a block. If not, it's okay. We'll emergency out, come back in. Look, there's one. Uh, so she doesn't even have to be next to it. Let's just get these characters out. Magic change. Skip. You get the idea by now. There we go. There we go. All right, let's geo blast. And see what happens. Hopefully it works out this time. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. One freaking Geo skill. Look at that. All six of those stars at one hit, right? Boom. Look at that. That's beautiful. I'm going to emergency out just like I did last time. Because if I stay in here and fight, that's not going to be a good ending for me. Boom, look at that. Right? So, let's check that out. Status, let's look at that. Her class is mastered from one battle, from one little room in the item world. Now, in order to do all of them, obviously you're just going to go back to the assembly. You're going to reset their classes again because you have to do it for all of them. Because check this out. Theirs is mastered too, because she used them as a weapon, and they they shared experience. All right, so now I got five of them that did it at one time. See? Now, once you've done that, once you it's kind of tedious to go through and do it one by one by one. Right? Change all their classes, go back into the item world, kill another block, leave the block, go back, change all their classes, do, go back. You know, after a while, that becomes tedious. If I remember correctly, when I went through this and done it, and I've done this probably about 15 times with 15 different characters, right? But you're doing five at a time, right? So that's the good thing. It's multiples of five and not just one at a time every time you do this process. I think it took me about two hours to do it one run like that, to fully max out five different characters, right? So what you're going to do when you finally get the last class mastered and, and your, whole your whole list of classes looks like this when it looks like this and you've done them all which hold up did i miss one i sure did i need to go back and hit that up that's my bad 
But anyway, I think this one's good. Yeah, when they all look like this, that's 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 part one, right? That's the first step because once you master them, then you go back to the strategy assembly and you're going to reincarnate. Now, the thing about it, and the reason you reincarnate is because that adds like 10% stats to your character on the next go-through and you're leveling back up. So you're, you're, that first time you reincarnate and you get her, she's going to start over at level one. But when you start using that martial training to get back up to 9,999, it's not, her stats are no longer going to be 81,000. Her stats are going to be like 10 million. It's, it's going to be ridiculous how much she grows. Um, and when you're grinding that level out. And an important thing to note also, when you're doing that grind, and you're farming that martial training to get them back up to 9,000, their first 10,000 in stats. Um, what you want to make sure is all those evil teas that we purchased that were the stat growers, you're gonna wanna make sure that she has those equipped. So you're gonna go back through, you can take this one off now. Remove, 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 and then you wanna put all these. It increases the HP rate by 10%, we want that. SP 10%, we want that. We want them all, right? Any any stat growth, we want that. Because as she's leveling, she's growing an extra 10%. You're going to throw that in there. Just fill it up. Right? You want all those on here. After, after she's mastered all of her subclasses, right? You're going to reincarnate. She's going to be a level 1, and you're going to have all these evil teas. Now, another thing that you they say you're supposed to do, but you don't have to have it. I have it, but I got it after the fact, is you want to equip your character with something called the raised flag, right? That is supposed... It's got this, this, this um, innocent on it called secret trainer. That adds another percentage to your growth rate, right? But the thing is, is I don't think you need it because you can only reincarnate and get a, it caps off so this first step to max stats has a level to it it plateaus so you can either use the evil tees or you can use the the, the raised flag it doesn't matter uh, i threw my first one away and didn't have it i went through and did this with just the stat boosters but before you go and do that if you have this use that what you're going to do after you reincarnate is you get there's another squad these squads, just love these squads. It's a squad for every thing on here. You put them in this Elite Four. You earn less experience, but increase your growth rate. So that character that we reincarnated, we got those stat boosters on them. We're gonna put them in here now. I got two in here, and then you're gonna start. Then you're gonna start your grind back up to nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Don't do it before that. If they're at level one. Don't start grinding until you have them in here with those stat boosters. And then by the time you're done, they'll be at 10 million stats for your first 10 million. Now, before I end the video, there's one thing I want to point, about, point out about those monster characters. And you're probably thinking, yeah, I didn't want a monster to do that. How do I get, you know, a, a mage or something like that, right? But here's the thing, right? So when you go back to reincarnate those characters with those maxed subclasses or mastered subclasses, let me find one. And I'm not going to go all the way through it, but check this out. Oh, I can't do it. Because he doesn't have any of what I'm talking about. So now i got to do this just to show you this. I can tell you about it, but it's better just to show you. So I'm going to put this guy in that squad to get some more mana. Before my controller dies on us. Mana, where are you at? channeling so use her and I gotta put one of these guys in there I need to get him some mana because <clears throat> I don't have enough mana to reincarnate him because he's a fresh character this won't take long bear with me please stand by go back to this martial training and this all ties together anyway. You need this martial training to do your grinding. This is the stage that you're going to get them from level 1 to 9,999. This is the one stage. So here we go. 
Let's bring out her. Wipe these guys out. You've seen this before. Now he's got some mana. And he's got a lot of it. It sounds like I'm getting a phone call. Very important today. So, we're going to go back to the strategy assembly. And find that character. Because there he is. We're going to reincarnate him, right? Because he's a monster, this is what you can do when you reincarnate him. Even with the mastered subclasses. You can change him into whoever you want. You can change him into a mage, a cleric, a healer, whatever. It can be any character you want. Now, the maid's very important. You need a maid. So, I would, that was one of the first ones I got was a maid. Um, you know, I just focused on the key ones first. I got another sage doing this. Um, yeah, whatever. You just reincarnate them into that character. And then you've got to max whatever you want. Any monster, it doesn't matter. They reincarnate into another human character. The only ones that don't have that ability are the story characters, the ones that can't change into other characters that aren't created. That's how you do that. And then you'll have five max characters. That's how, when you look at my characters, that's how they all have such high stats. And I'll make another video explaining which characters are important for this, because there are certain characters you need for this process. But I would start thinking about a professor, um, a thief, and definitely a sage. You have to have at least one, but I would recommend two because it just makes it easier. You need a maid also. Also, Kristoff is probably one of the first characters you're going to want to max out. Christo. He's very important for this too. This is like my A team right here. These are the ones that I started with because they are going to help you significantly. But anyway, if you've enjoyed the video and you found it very educational, Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And once again, wink.